Quick video of how you cut apart an oil filter so you can inspect the element to see if you have early bearing failure or anything else without contaminating the inside. Hacksaw? No. Angle grinder? No. Chop saw? No. There's expensive twist around specialty oil filter thing? No. All these are made out of actually pretty thin metal. The top is a little bit thicker. Um, but what they do is the top just comes up and they roll this edge around. All you need is a pair of tin snips. Take the tin snips and what I'm going to do is I'm just going to cut right down into the edge and then I'm going to take this bottom blade directly under that lip. That's it. So you just get in there and we just peel it off. Easy. Once you get it started, you know, just try not to cut through the piece. There we go. And once you get it started, this is easier than opening a can. That's it. Everything now should just come right out. We've introduced no metal particles. I can look at my element, inspect everything. And you see how much oil was actually left in after I had actually drained this, left this upside down for nearly 24 hours. And then these make amazing little cups just for uh, your workbench. Thanks for watching guys. See you soon. Bye. You got it this far. You've already inspected it. Now it's time to throw it away. So you take your cup around a little piece of sandpaper to make the edge smooth. Flip it around. Hammer in the bottom. Now I got a perfect cup that sits on the counter on the workbench that I can put screwdrivers in. I can I can put a bolts, nuts and bolts in. I can use it as a parts cleaner. I can put some some gasoline or something in there and let parts soak if I want to degrease them or, or something else. But another little trick or just throw it away.